Good day everyone! Welcome to Science for Young Minds with Merivet Education Center. My name is Teacher Anne. This series is for Pratam 6. Today we're going to study about tsunami. We're going to learn what is tsunami, the causes, how it was formed, effects, and lastly, the safety precautions before, during, and after tsunamis. But before we start, let's read the vocabularies in this episode. Please repeat after me. Tsunami Tsunami Water disturbance Water disturbance Earthquake Earthquake Massive destruction. Massive destruction. Contamination. Contamination. Now let's try to understand what is tsunami. Tsunami is a series of huge waves in the sea that moves outward from the point of the disturbance. We know now that tsunami is a series of huge waves in the sea. But, what are the possible causes of tsunamis? The causes is due to volcanic eruption, landslide on the seafloor, or earthquakes. My question now, how tsunamis form? Because of earthquake, volcanic eruption, or landslides on the seafloor, or any of these three happens, it will create a great water disturbance or water tension. That tension will push the seawater upward, but because the gravity tries to pull it down, that will cause an upsurge. The waves will move away from the tension. When waves approach the coast, the seawater becomes shallower, and waves constantly increase in height. When waves hit the coast, coast will be flooded with water. Water can travel to some distance into the land and causes a massive destruction. Let's learn what are the effects of tsunamis. Because of tsunamis, it can damage the buildings. It can ruin the environment on the shore. It can also damage the plants like uprooted and wash them away. It can also cause water and food contamination. We can also have the spread of infectious disease like cholera. Lastly, it will also affect in our economic income because of ruined tourist destinations, buildings, and facilities. So you already know the causes, how it was formed, the possible effects of tsunami. One of the important things that we also need to know are the safety precautions before, during, and after tsunami. Here are the safety precautions before tsunami. We have to prepare a survival kit. Make up an emergency plan. Learn and practice evacuation plans. Learn the signs of a tsunami, such as earthquakes near coastal areas, water receding from coast, sudden rise of waves with a loud roaring sound like a train or plane. Here are the safety precautions during tsunami. If there is an earthquake, protect yourself from the earthquake first. Immediately evacuate to higher ground. Stay away from beaches, river, and low-laying areas. Return to affected areas only when the authorities announce it is safe to do so. If you are in the water, hold on to a thing that floats like a tree trunk. If you are in a boat, move toward the sea. Lastly, here are the safety precautions after tsunami. Return to your home 
when the authority says it is safe to do so. Stay away from flood water. Avoid damage electrical poles, buildings, and trees. Do not use any electrical outlets or appliances if it is wet or flooded. Check for damages and clean the entire home. Check for contamination, food, and water. Boil the water before drinking. Time to answer! Let us check your understanding. Let us try to practice with these exercises. What is a tsunami? Please click pause so you can write your answer. Then click the play button to check your answer if it is correct. Give the three signs of tsunami. Please click pause so you can write your answer. Then click the play button to check your answer if it is correct. When a tsunami occurs, what should you do if you are on the ground, in the water, in a boat? Please click pause so you can write your answer. Then click the play button to check your answer if it is correct. What will happen to the plants at the coast after a tsunami? Please click pause so you can write your answer. Then click the play button to check your answer if it is correct. How do tsunamis affect the country's economy? Please click pause so you can write your answer. Then click the play button to check your answer if it is correct. Awesome! Are your answers correct? Perfect! Hope that you enjoy our today's lesson. That's all for now. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.